Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is the HL Mod Tech website. Today, my friends, we're going to work on some programming, so let's get cracking. At the very top of the website, you will find the logo programming. It may be under a hamburger bar if your screen is a little smaller. But when you find the logo programming, we are going to do the Turtle Academy. We need to log in. When you click this link, I want you to simply use Login with Google. Choose the account you want to log in with. I'm logging in with my West Ottawa account. And when it is logged in, make sure that it shows your name up top. If you don't do that, your work won't be saved. If for some reason your name doesn't show up, choose Log Out. And then log in again the exact same way and see if it shows up that time. If you have strange numbers at the top instead of your name, hit your profile, check your settings, and then you can change your display name. I'm gonna leave mine as it is, and we don't need to worry about the group key. All right, friends, real quickly, Turtle Academy has sweet built-in lessons. These lessons are really cool, and as you complete them, they give you a little check marks. If you get all the check marks, you can earn some sweet badges, which I highly recommend. But for this project, we're gonna go back to my lessons. So I need you to launch Turtle Academy 1, which believe it or not, that is what you're watching, and complete it like this. So return to your name and hit profile. When you hit profile, we want to create a new program. On this page, we need to put a program name. We're gonna put logo, and we're gonna put our initials. I'm gonna put a two, because I've already made this once. At this point, we're gonna type some code. We're gonna teach logo how to do things by giving it steps. So the first thing we're going to teach it is how to go. And we're going to type forward, F-O-R-W-A-R-D, 50, and press enter, and then we're going to type end. Every word starts with a 2, and it ends with an end. This is the teaching. It's going to do forward 50, and then it's going to end, and this little turtle is going to move. Once you create the word, you need to use the word. So now go happens. When we hit run, check it out, our little turtle goes 50. If you change that to 100 and run it again, it will go twice as far, the original 50 plus that. I'm gonna change it back to 50, but I just wanted you to see how that code works. I'm gonna hit create so that it is a program I can save, and I wanna save it because I don't wanna lose my work. Another awesome word that the turtle understands is set heading. Headings are like a compass rose, and I'll put that on the screen here. When you type set heading, you need to tell it a direction. So I'm gonna tell it 90. At this point when we run the program, notice the turtle aims his head to the 90 degree side. Where this is zero, this is 90. Here is your 180, and this way would be 270. Let's press enter and add another line of code. But let's be smarter and use a sweet shortcut. Forward is long and easy to misspell. FD is the shortcut for forward. Set H is the shortcut for heading. Let's change that to 180. Now when we hit run, check it out. Our turtle moves up, aims towards 90, goes forward the 50, and then aims towards the 180 mark. Let's add one more of these real quick, and let's even be smarter by copying. Control C is copy, Control V is paste, but instead of 180, make that 270. Once again, click run and check it out. You are on your way to making an awesome square. Let's quickly get rid of that go command. We'll still keep the code though, we're just not using the command. And let's make the new word SQ. I'm gonna tell you press enter and I'm gonna tell you to put end because we never wanna forget the end command. And now let's quickly make an entire square with the shortcuts. Forward 50 and instead of set heading, let's use right 90. I could have typed the whole word right, but those shortcuts are so awesome. I'm gonna grab those words right there and I could type them again but I can also do control C and control V press enter and press enter and do control V to paste all four of those almost immediately 
Another new command is clear screen, and then we're going to type the new command, square. When you hit run, you will have an amazing little tiny square with the turtle back at what we call the home position. Double checking what we've learned here, we've got a word forward, so that means there's a word back. If there's a word right, that means there is a word left. Let's clear this code where we were using clear screen and square, and let's teach it a new word called cool. When you press enter, make sure you press enter again and put your end, because we never want to forget that. And then we're going to learn a new command called repeat. And we're going to repeat 100 times, and then you've got to put the square bracket. And then we are going to simply do our cool square that we created. So we're reusing this word inside this word. And then we're going to put a right and 40 degrees. And then you've got to remember the square bracket. These square brackets are above the enter key. And then, of course, to use your cool command, I'm going to clear the screen, and we're going to simply type cool. Friends, when you're done with that, I'd like you to hit run. I'm going to pause and let you try and do that on your own first so it's cooler on your screen. After you've done it on your screen, you can check out how it turns out on my screen. All right, here's what it should look like. Boom. Cool little designs, simple skills. What we did was repeated those squares again and again to make that awesome shape. Now what you can do is change those numbers, and then when you hit run, it clears the screen and draws it again. How cool is that? Make sure as you play with this that you hit save so you don't lose your program. When you click save, it gives us this output image. I would like you to right click it and choose save image as to your downloads folder so you can turn it in in class. I would put logo one after it so you know which it is and boom, turn that into Google Classroom. Friends, that's how easy it is to work in Turtle Academy on your Chromebook. Friends, if you wanna to continue to play, make sure that you save and then you can go back to the lesson screen. On this lesson screen, you simply click it, read the instructions, solve it, and then you get the check marks. You can see the first command they used was forward 50. I will just type this one so you can see how it works. If you spell it correctly and do everything like you're supposed to when you hit run, it gives you the check mark. I already have all these check marks because I earned them. And then the cool thing is if you go back to your profile, you can see the cool little turtles that you've already earned. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this. And if you did, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.